up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today, we are in our very pink DIY Barbie dream house. Let's just take a moment to uh, clean up right quick because I found Mini Brands Series 5. Have I been going to Target every day searching for these ever since I heard they came out? Yes. Yes, I have. They were $7.49 at my local Target. There are 90 plus minis to collect. And it looks like we're getting some new ultra rare frozen moment minis. I am super excited. Does that mean we're going to find any? No. I am known for not having the best of luck when looking for rare, ultra rare, limited edition, special edition minis. But I'm still hopeful. And I'm pretty excited to see what this series has. So this series looks purple, but the capsule itself is white. And it's not wedges. It's a two-part capsule with paper bags inside. Yeah! There are five paper bags and a collector's guide showing us the new Frozen Moments, another Pringles, the Gold Minis, Glow in the Dark, Metallic, and Common. There are cans, Tabasco sauce, new sunblock, more sunblock, and office supplies. Yes! Oh, but it looks like the stapler is a collector's case exclusive. Looks like we have a few minis in different sizes. International money. Okay. Coins, a UPS box. Looks like store ads and a paper bag. UPS and FedEx shipping boxes. Yeah. With mini minis inside. And the capsule is made with certified recycled plastic. All right, I'm liking this. Wait, what's that? Oh, the bags still have plastic in them. All righty. And our first mini is Bean Boozled Jelly Beans. Aw, oh, man, candy. But we also got money. Yeah. Our second one is Swanson's Beef Broth. I'm more of a vegetable broth kind of girl, but it'll look good in the grocery store. It's a cardstock box. There's a printed cap on top. I would have liked to have seen a 3D cap, but you know, that's just me. I like those details in my minis. Here we have chocolate fudge cream filled wafers. The bottom is silver to look like a tin can. Kind of cool. And they are the perfect size for the dollhouse. Up next, we have. Ooh! Scotch tape, tape runner. Look at that. It is plastic inside. So if I get two, we're totally opening one. There are printed details on the back. And if we cut that out, we could even hang this on a little hook in our doll stores. And the last one in this capsule is noodles, teriyaki beef flavor. There are details going all the way around. Opening capsule number two. I gotta say, I don't miss the wedges. I think this is soda. Let's see. It is! It's a pretty clear bottle of Sprite. Zero sugar. Here it is with a doll. It's a pretty good size. So far, scale has been pretty good. It's candy. And this is... Kettle corn. I'm sorry, Kettle brand potato chips sea salt and the bag is pretty stuffed and there are details on the back in our next bag we have salsa hot and our last one is a FedEx box yeah feels like a heavyweight cardstock and it's shiny we have details on the front and the sides and the bottom let's open it and see what is inside. We have a tiny box of Fruit Loops. This is smaller than 1 6 scale. I'm guessing it's closer to 1 12 scale. Here it is next to a Disney Durable for a little size comparison. 
Actually, it's kind of the perfect size for a Nindroid. But the FedEx box works for one six scale. Capsule number three. I really am hoping that we find a Frozen Moments Mini today or office supplies. I would be very happy to find those as well. Metallic Minute Maid Original Orange Juice. It feels like cardstock with foam inside. The next one is, what is that? Ooh, Banana Boat Sport. I like Sunblock. And this one is a really good size for our 1-6 scale dollhouse. This is another soda. It's a double. Our first double of the day. Next, we have a box. German chocolate layer cake. And the last one for this capsule is jelly beans. Ooh, and money. I got this rug on Amazon. It's a mouse pad set. The mouse pad makes a pretty decent area rug for a doll. There's a smaller one that I think is a coaster. We could probably use this in the kitchen or at a front door. Then there's a bookmark that's kind of like a runner. Let's add the rug to the dining room, place the table and chairs on top, and we can just try that out for the rest of the day and see how we like it. It was about $18 for this set. Sorry, I get distracted. Like with new Dorable Series 10, Mini Peak. They were right there next to the mini brands in Target. This is box E160. We can have two or three Dorables inside. We got two and a collector's guide. This is bag 26. Inside we have a character from Moana. And number 60 is the captain from Wally. -E. He is absolutely perfect to sit in our little theater. Capsule number four. I'm really interested in seeing what the cans look like. So hopefully we will get one of those. This is a post-it note dispenser. It's pink, it's a heart, it's perfect for our house. I need two. I know, I know, it's crazy. I'm asking for doubles. Aw, is that a double? I know I said I wanted doubles, but not this one. It's just a box. Be careful what you ask for. Uh, another double. And we got some money from Canada. And this is... <laughs> it's another double. That's like three in a row. And the last one for this capsule is... Pace Picante. <laughs> Seriously? Number five. Hopefully we have more variety this time. Our first one is buttered popcorn jelly beans. Then we have, what's this? Oh, a double. On the bright side, we can totally restock our mini grocery store with lots of new products because we have all these <laughs> doubles. <laughs> Yay! We're not gonna get discouraged. We're gonna just keep going. And we got a soda. It's a different one this time. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. And you can see the liquid inside the bottle. That's cool. And this is another FedEx box with a mystery mini inside. So we just have to open it to see the mini. It's another box of tiny cereal. Now these actually aren't boxes. They feel like a plastic brick wrapped in a sticker. I hope Deku likes cereal and I'm liking these little FedEx boxes. I think this is capsule six. I am totally looking for another heart post-it notes. Pretty much all the office stuff. I really want the hot glue gun. That is a bowl of ramen noodle soup, chicken flavor. Hey, I'm just happy it's not a double. And this is, ooh, post-it notes. It's actually a box. It says it has 15 pads inside. However, if you open it, it is empty. Well, it has paper in it, but not the kind of paper we're looking for. 
However, we've made post-it notes in the past. They're pretty easy. Oh, and there was money included. But for the sticky notes, we can just cut colored paper, stack a few together, run glue across one side to make tiny notepads that we can place inside the box so it's no longer empty. That's a pretty easy way to add more detail to our minis. And the next one we have our third bag of chips. And this is a jar of tomato sauce, chunky. And our last one is oh, a frozen moment mini. We found one in the wild. We have noodles with a fork and the fork is suspended in the air so we can make it look like the dolls are eating the noodles. And we have the one that is still in the packaging. So this is pretty cool. I wonder how they will look in the Glitter Girls kitchen. It was on Amazon for $11. This is my first time taking a look at this brand. And at $11.99, I think it was, I couldn't pass it up. Oh wow, a doll is included. The doll is about 14 inches tall and comes fully dressed. That's a cute apron, but I'm gonna leave it because I'm mainly here for the kitchen. There's a large counter, it says yummy. It has a glitter top, it's a piece of paper under plastic. Unfortunately, my paper is curling, but it is under plastic, so the counter is still flat. It's blue on the back and there is some shelving and there's a large sticker across the front. Can I remove it? I can and I used a little rubbing alcohol to remove the residue. Now we have a blue counter. I'm placing a Barbie behind it with flat feet and it's a good size. There is a refrigerator, stove and sink attached to a wall with a tile backsplash. There is a little awning at the top, but it is pretty high up. And with our one six scale dolls, it's pretty easy to keep it out of a shot if you want. The backsplash is like a neon orange salmon. There's a blue refrigerator with a glitter window. The refrigerator is functional. The door opens. Ooh, and we have clear glitter shelves inside with a drawer at the bottom. There are two shelves on the wall. One has a little rack. We get a full size stove, double sink, the knobs for the stove move and there's an oven. The door opens. There are gray racks inside. They are also removable. There's a drawer at the bottom. We can turn the faucet. There's a little soap dispenser and the handle. <laughs> it moves. There's a working drawer underneath and a small cabinet that can open. Wow, there's a lot of space in there. Stickers are used to add details to the stove top and there's a molded drain in the bottom of the sink. At $11.97, I am so happy I decided to give this a try. I just checked Amazon. It is now listed at 16. So, you know, keep in mind prices can change. And I think there is some opportunity to customize this space a little. I cut some vinyl paper with an adhesive backing into small rectangles. Contact paper would totally work. I'm just gonna peel off the back and place it on top, lining everything up the best I can. I do have a small little orange colored edge, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Everything just looks blue. It looks rainbowy in person. I'm just gonna keep going because this is what I have and we're gonna make it work. I add marble to the countertop to give the kitchen a new look. It does come with more accessories, like a camera on a tripod, a large bowl, an adorable measuring cup. I love this. There's a whisk. Some items might be a tiny bit large, like the scale. <gasps> it works. We have milk, an icing bag. I think these are little bottles of food coloring. Here they are next to our doll. There's another bowl. This one has a little glitter. There's a shaker of glitter, vanilla extract, eggs. They are a little large, probably better for a smart doll. Paw cookies, a dish towel. I like this. 
a large marble rolling pin, butter, containers, the tops open, and this one is filled with either sugar or flour. There's a bunt cake with a cake stand and a bunt cake pan, a bag of raw sugar, measuring spoons, which are also a little large, we could probably use them as measuring cups, and little chocolate chips, which could totally be Hershey Kisses for a doll. I think this is a pretty cute set that we can totally use with our 1-6 scale dolls and our mini brands. We can even place some of the minis in the refrigerator and we can see them through the little window. Speaking of mini brands, let's open capsule number seven. Our first one is, <gasps> yes, we got a second heart post-it note dispenser so we can open one. There is a little tab on the bottom, so maybe if you're very, very careful, you can open it and close it as you like. Now we can open the bottom and take it out. Yeah, it's a little heart with a faux post-it on the front. It is hollow in the back. We can cut a small piece of a real post-it and place it in the little indention so it looks like there is a note ready to be used. Our next one is a can. It's silver, we have little details. However, it is a little large when compared to our dolls. The next one is Campbell's Sauces Skillet Chicken Marsala. It's a little bag with foam inside. Up next, looks like a can. SpaghettiOs. We have some can details on the top. Kinda cool. And the last one for this capsule is a UPS box. UPS Express. There's a shipping label on the front. Inside, we have more cereal. Yay. At least our mini dolls will be well stocked. Capsule number eight. Have I mentioned how much I like the new packaging? We are totally coming up with some recycled craft projects for these. Let's open the first mini from this capsule. It is another double. More noodles. And this is, no, not that cake again. I mean, German chocolate layer cake. And this is a larger box of cornflakes. It's still pretty small, but I would still use this with our 1-6 scale dolls. Here it is next to the mini box. Mini brands, we totally need some pots and pans and dishes. Just saying. <gasps> the tape! Scotch box lock shipping tape. This is perfect. We can pretend like the dolls are taping up boxes. I love these little slice of life moments in miniature. And the next one is another box. It's a FedEx box. And inside we have, please don't be cereal. Yay! It's a tiny little Revlon nail polish and it's the perfect size for our dolls. Not bad, not bad at all. Here is our last capsule. And we've done pretty good today. I would love to see that hot glue gun, but you know. We got another beef broth. This one's pretty thin. Feels like there's just like paper inside. Let me open this one very carefully. It's the little store ad, you know, like a flyer. So it's a piece of paper. Hmm. Personally, I would have liked for this to have been treated like the money, you know, added with another prize. Up next, we have, it's another tape. Now we have two, so we can open one. It's two separate pieces, so we would have to tape or glue them together. I just added a little tape to the back and then trim off the excess. But now we have one in and one out of the packaging. The next one is a large nail polish. Here it is next to the mini one. So we could probably use this for a smart doll and this one for a 1-6 scale doll. And our very last one for today is 
a double. So many noodles. But I love that we found a Frozen Moment Mini. The tiny nail polish is perfect and I'm loving the office supplies. I could probably do without the ad if it counts as a mini, but international money is a fun addition. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Mini Brands Series 5. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about this series. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.